Welcome to Scrapple TV. Captain Scotch Whiskey here reporting for our nerd news. Today we are in Las Vegas, Nevada at Kiss Mini Monster Golf. You're watching nerd news. Yeah, I collect Kiss and Star Wars. There's, you don't get much nerdier than that. I've been with the Kiss Army since I was a little kid. I used to dress up like Kiss all the time, not just for Halloween, but all the time. Originally since 1975, they first played here in March of 75 with Rush opening. Rush was on Fly By Night and they were undressed to kill. And I was too young to go, but the whole town knew about it. They played uh, infamous shows at the Sahara Convention Center. But when I finally got to see them was April 1st, 1983 on Creatures of the Night. So I saw both of the Vinnie Vincent tours. Uh, creatures and lick it up. Uh, one of the most surprising things is people come in that aren't aware of what's going on. Uh, we get everybody. We get um, people that are diehard fans who drag people that aren't fans in here. Uh, we get people from all over the world. We get other rock stars. We get celebrities, sports figures, uh, movie stars. You, know, you name it, we get it in here. They, they get sucked into it, you know, some people that don't realize. And you get the people that do know what's going on and they just love it to death, so. This is Kiss. One of the one of the coolest things about coming here is everything changes on a like let's say a quarterly basis. So if you come here a lot, you'll see something different every time you come. It's not just the same thing. It's constantly evolving, which is one of the fun things about it. So you have a lot of regulars that come in. They'll go, "Oh, I didn't see that last time. Oh, I didn't do this last time." It's a constantly evolving structure. It's not just a uh, static you know, universe here. Kiss. It's fun to be part of history. I, and when Gene was here in November, I actually told him, I said, thank you for being you, because without you, I wouldn't have a cool job that I have. I get to meet cool, cool people who can complain, right? Talk to people from every country every day. Uh, we have the Hotter Than Hell Wedding Chapel. Uh, people come from all over the world to get married, uh, to renew their vows. We have seen it all. If it's legal, our owners will let it happen. We've had a nudist wedding where um, them and 50 of their friends came in. Everybody got nude, got married, played golf. Of course, they had to buy the place out for two hours. We've seen it all. All ages. Um, we, I've seen a little five-year-old boy who sang every single song that came on while he was in here. So we're family friendly. Um, now, some little kids get scared because they don't understand it, but uh, most, of, most of the kids think it's great. Gene and Paul come in for business. We've had Bruce Kulik in. Bob Kulik lives here in town now. We've had Eric Singer do functions for us. We've got Tommy Thayer do functions for us. So yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good place, you know. It, it's, a, it's a universal meeting place for the band, so, and their fans. We work with a lot of nonprofit organizations, charity organizations do a lot for the community, the community does a lot for us, and we're really proud of that. KISS will rock into the future, there will always be a KISS. As long as Gene and Paul are around, then it will always be KISS forever. <laughs>